Hey everyone, I'm back again today with a new Illustrator tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily create website banners using Illustrator. I know normally this website banners you think Photoshop and you certainly can set these up in Photoshop as well. I just want you to know that you can very easily create web banners in Illustrator. And if you don't know what a web banner is, um, I have some up on my screen. This was a just a template um, that was for sale, but you know, usually it's some sort of an advertisement that gets placed somewhere on a website or it's used in social media. Um, they're, they usually come in a whole bunch of different sizes and um, they're, they're for screen viewing only, just commonly referred to as a website banner. So I'm going to show you today how easy it is to create these um, in Illustrator so that they are editable again after you export the final JPEG. And just for fun, let's go ahead and just pick a size. Um, let's, do, let's do 300 by 250 just as our example. Um, you'll, when you're doing a, a web banner, you'll more than likely have a specific pixel dimension that it has to be set up on um, depending on where it's going to be used. So we're going to use 300 by 250 for our example today. So you're just going to go up to File and New so we can create a new document, a new blank document. And we want to switch our measurement to pixels down at the bottom. And our width is going to be 300 and our height is going to be 250. We don't need any bleed um, because this is going to be for screen, so you don't need bleed when you're designing um, for website or screen viewing. And the other, only other important thing is that your color mode is RGB. And then just hit create. And here's your blank artboard. So let's just quickly design. I'm going to just design a little website banner for my design. And so I'm going to grab my logo quick and paste that over here. Scale it down so I can see it. And then I use Just gonna grab a stock photo so that you realize that it's okay to use photos in Illustrator. I think send that to the back. my logo down here and then usually website banners have what looks like a clickable button um, even though it's just part of the artwork it's not actually a button um, because normally a website <clears throat> banner you would link the whole entire banner the image to wherever you want it to go but um, I'm going to just make it look like there's a button so that people will click on it. Learn more. So maybe I paid someone to have this advertisement on their website. Um, that would be one purpose for it. Or it could be used for social media. I'm just going to mask that out. Okay, so I quickly designed what I want my artwork to look like, and this last step is probably the most important step, because if you were to save this um, artwork in Illustrator native format, um, like an AI file or a PDF, those file types are not recognized um, in web design or anything to do with screen like social media you can't upload AI files or PDFs so the trick and the key is instead of actually saving it I mean you do want to save um, 
do a save as and save it for later. We're going to do EG banner and we're going to label it the size so we know. And then I'm just going to save that um, as Illustrator so that I can always come back and edit it. You always want to have an editable working file. So go ahead and save a copy as Illustrator. Um, but what you would actually send or use um, as a web banner would be a JPEG or a PNG. And in order to get that, we're going to go up to File and we're going to do Export and we're going to do Export for Screens. So here's my artboard and we're going to label that again EG Banner 300 by 250 because whatever you name your artboard in this screen is what your file will be named after you export it. So if we would have just left it as artboard, you would have a file on your desktop called artboard. So it's important you want to, you know, give it its own name and save it as something that's meaningful to you when you're in the screen. Make sure that your box is checked, meaning that that's the artboard that you want to export. And then go ahead and choose your destination. Um, I'm just going to choose my desktop because it's easy but you can save it wherever you want and then if you check this box open location after export it's just gonna pop up your window just to kinda of verify that it saved that it exported the file and saved it for you and then your format you choose down here um, 1x means it's gonna export it at the size that it's set up which is exactly what we want it needs to be 300 by 250 and then Generally, you want a JPEG format, but depending on the actual um, specifications for your web banner, it you know they may request a PNG or it may need to be in PNG format, but you generally can't go wrong with using one of those. So once you have your settings fixed, then you just hit export, export, artboard. And just like we asked it to, it popped up our location, and you can see it right here. Let's go in and check the properties. Oh, you can see in the little window, it says dimensions, 300 by 250, and it's a JPEG file. So you just created a web banner from Illustrator. I just wanted you to see how easy it is. So until next week, I hope you guys enjoyed learning something new, and keep watching for more free tutorials.